what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's a bit of a surprise you guys will have this um right after season three this will be airing on saturday and then we'll go straight into season four on monday okay i'm recording this way before you guys get a chance to see it so but i'm not gonna tell you you're just gonna have to enjoy the surprise you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure none of y'all saw this coming but anyways awesome awesome stuff right um there was another ova i can't find it i can't find it this one i found this one i found um i was looking for the other one i don't know i don't know i'm i, I guess it, it i i don't know if it's a big deal i don't know if it's not a big deal but all i know is that this one right here um i found it and now i'm going to react to it so this one comes straight off of season three we already know karasuno just won the um the championship at least you know what i'm saying they head into nationals so i don't know what this is going to be about um it looks like nekama is going to be involved in in these um i think it's like two episodes yeah two episodes um basically you know like 40 minutes of whatever this is going to be i don't know who's going to be match up but i'm excited to see who nekama is going to go up against of course you know what i'm saying because i want to see them in a full match we have yet to see them we've played against them but not really more like for practice i want to see how they compete so from seeing from this picture here from my background um it seems like they're gonna be involved somehow and that black and white here dude that um that Tsukishima um got some practicing with miss by practicing how to block him and stuff like that and he got a wicked cut shot okay so we're going to see what that is going to entail so, so without no further ado guys make sure you hit that like button if you have not join the membership on the channel yet please consider doing so okay and you guys can sign up for that it's only a dollar at the lowest tier just for support on the channel you can take a look at the higher tiers if you want to but i'm going to start plugging this on the channel so hey <laughs> you know what i'm saying you guys wanted to support a lot of you guys wanted to support it's the only reason why these memberships are on and of course what I told you guys before where I'm considering becoming a full-time content creator on the channel. So by now, membership should be live on the channel. So you guys should be able to sign up for membership. So make sure you go ahead and check out that to see which tier you would like to sign up for. Of course, I'm encouraging you guys to do this because there's going to be stuff added to the channel later on. You know what I'm saying? Other perks and great stuff that you could get, um, especially down the line. If you get in right now, you know what I'm saying? Later on, you might just become honorary members of the channel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I have some stuff planned for the channel, for the memberships um, going forward, man. I just want you guys to know that. But anyways, let's jump into these reactions and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was a beautiful short story. Beautiful OVA. I liked it. Um, it kind of um, showing off like the, 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 like when it comes on to like Nekoma. Nekoma is not about individuality. It's all about their defense. They're a defensive team. So it's not necessarily about somebody becoming an ace or anything like that. And I, that's what I got out of watching these two, two um, OVA episodes. You know what I mean? That's what I got out of this team. 
that's what i see like lev trying to be the ace is not the answer because that's not what they're about and to kind of cover all over all of that of him coming to realize that it's not about that it's about the teamwork it's about work working with your team understanding that there's others on the team and it's not just about you scoring points you get what i'm saying you're not ushijima let's just be honest you're just not okay um i don't i don't hate the dude as a character the problem that i have with lev is that his dumbness is just on another level like he is slow like to a fault you know what i'm saying like he's slow slow and and the thing about it is this is like they're trying to make it seem like he's not but he really is slow he takes so long to get to get it he takes a long time to get it and his skills people might say oh it's his first year how long do you think it takes to learn to play volleyball hands up if you know the answer because there's really no answer but at the same time he's been playing for a long time now we're talking about before season two started we got introduced to lev he's been around for a long time at least months at least he was there at the at the the beginning of season two first half of season two when they went to practice um the 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 the, the, the camp right the training camp that they went to he was there to be to be diligently practicing like that and still making those kind of mistakes on a on a consistent basis nah bro nah it's all about the defense he would be a better d uh, in in my opinion he will do better on the defensive end in my opinion it's nice to see him up in the air you know because he's hella tall you know and for him to not still be not be able to coordinate well with the ball i would understand if he's hitting it and he's hitting it off of blocks i could totally understand that you get what i'm saying because at least you're coordinating yourself to hitting the ball but he constantly misses and he's getting the perfect sets the ball is up there before you get what i'm saying the ball is up there before he jumps he jumps and he can't coordinate to hit the ball you get what i'm saying but you know he did realize what the team is about so i'll give him props for that it's not that i'm hating on lev or i don't like his character i just think that maybe they just downplay his character too much and then trying to put him in trying to put him in moments as if i'm going to forget that he just whiffed and he's like seven foot <laughs> He's like seven feet tall, bro. Like how? How are you missing so often? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I expect that from Hinata because Aseta could set the ball too high and he ain't, you know what I'm saying? And Hinata can get up there too. You know what I'm saying? But I can't hate on Hinata because Hinata give, and I'm not saying, Hinata is just he's just in a different league when it comes on to push persistence learning he's just in a different league he's no genius by any means but he works so hard and i'm not saying that lev doesn't work hard it's obvious that he does it's just that oh my god can you coordinate yourself you are too tall to not be able to hit the ball over the net and don't get me wrong, people make mistakes in volleyball all the time, no matter how tall you are. You get what I'm trying to say? You make mistakes in serving. You know what I mean? You might hit the ball, you might be aiming too close to the net. You know what I'm saying? And you might make that mistake. But Lev has been making these mistakes and they keep highlighting it in the anime. And that's why I got to talk about it. Because if they didn't highlight it, then I wouldn't talk about it. You get what I'm saying? Because if you notice... Hinata doesn't make those mistakes anymore. He'll get the ball. If he has to serve, he's going to serve the ball over the net. But because they're highlighting it now with Lev, and it's very true what dude is saying to him all the time. You're nowhere near as good as Hinata. 
And that is not even a dig at him. He's nowhere near that skill. But I'm glad that they're not going to put him in the spotlight to be that Ushijima of Nekoma because Nekoma is not about that. So, yeah. So, I'm glad they, they shut that down and let them be a team. Let them be a, um, a defensive team in the tournament because they don't have an outstanding spiker like your... Um, What's his name? Dude from Furukadani or whatever they call that school. Um, I don't remember his name. But black and white here, dude, right? Um, he's not... He's, he, he's, he, he could possibly be one of the best spikers ever. But he doesn't have that kind of talent. Let's just be honest. At this point in time, I'm looking at him. He doesn't have... I don't even see the potential for him to be that kind of spiker he has the height and he could spike at a height that nobody else in the league could spike at but i don't see him mastering that and taking advantage of that to become a formidable ace like a ushijima i don't see him doing that he's too dumb <laughs> he's he's slightly too dumb let's not go he's not all the way dumb he's just he takes too long to adapt and stuff like that frustrate coaches in real life coaches are benching you because you ain't doing shit i'm just saying i'm just being honest guys i'm just being honest i'm not saying this too because i know there's probably left fans out there on my channel watching my channel but i'm just saying you guys might have a different opinion than me but that's just how i feel about this character right now like i've been watching him for a long time and it's cool to see him jump and hit the ball but it's always like, I thought he was going to turn up in this match. I thought he was going to turn up. He's still not there. So what's this? Why did he get his own OVA in the first place? <laughs> I'm done, guys. I'm done. Let's not. Uh, listen, Nekoma is moving on to national. That's all that matters. Because I want to see if they're going to end up in the finals of nationals with. um, Or I just want to see them play Karasuno. that's gonna warm my heart to see them play because they've always wanted to meet on the national stage and i think that's why they're preparing us with these ovas and also you know what i'm saying with what's going on with Karasuno. they're preparing us because they're telling us that these two teams is probably going to end up playing or there's going to be some significance in nationals between these two teams so I'm looking forward to it. I'll catch you guys later. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in all the time to watch these. Um, this was a surprise for y'all um, because I didn't tell anybody that I was going to do this. I Well, knew I was going to do the OVA, but didn't know when it was going to come out. Um, so you get to see this on the Saturday after Season 3 wraps up. And then we continue with Season 4 on Monday, which I've yet to react to. So... Okay, I got those 13 episodes to do, so I'll see you guys whenever that is. Peace. Don't forget to like the video, man. Do I really have to tell you that? Do I really have to tell you to like the video? You guys have not been liking the videos, man. You know what I'm saying? Most of y'all. You know what I mean? I'll be getting 200, 300 views on my Haikyuu videos and only like 20 likes. Like, if you don't like it, man... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, why you over here watching my stuff, man, continuously, man? Leave a like. Let me know how much you like it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? All right. Leave a like, man. Leave a comment. You already know it's your boy.